show you before and after using my LUTs that I'm giving away in this video. If you want five free LUTs that actually look like a movie, then head into the description box because I have a link there from where you can download those LUTs. Now let's get into the video. <laughs> guys and welcome back to another video on this channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can save your own grade to a LUT. Yes, let's say that you've made a grade and now you don't want to copy and paste the note to every single video project that you have. You can simply save it as a LUT and then use it across all of your projects. Now that you've created your grade however you want it, all you have to do is open the clips. So if you don't have the clips open, then you head above and click clips so they open. Once they're opened, choose the thumbnail that has the grade that you made and then right click on that thumbnail and choose generate 3D LUT. So when you click generate 3D LUT, always make sure it's a cube file because cube files are like the easiest to handle every single program will recognize them. If it's any other LUT file format, the other programs, software such as uh, Photoshop or let's say Premiere, they might have a trouble recognizing them. So the best one is to use is a cube LUT file format. Once you've done that, you have your LUT saved. It should be inside the DaVinci Resolve. So you go into the node structure, you right click on a node, you click LUTs and it should be underneath the 3D LUT with the name of how you actually named your own LUT. So there should it be. If you want to share this LUT to other users, you have to go to project settings in the LUTs window, open the folder where DaVinci saves all the LUTs and there you have, this is the map where DaVinci saves your LUTs so you can just copy your LUTs to your own preferred map. You can then upload it to internet and share it with others. The same way I'm sharing five LUTs that actually look like a movie. We're gonna take a look at them right now before and after so you can see how they look and you can decide if that's something that you wanna download or not. someone who advises people to use LUTs. I am someone who is pro grading. I want you to color grade your footage manually. But there are some times that we cannot grade manually because we don't have enough time. Or let's say that you film a YouTube video that always has the same lighting setup. So why would you color grade it manually? Okay, you can color grade it manually if you want a different look of your video. But if you want a constant look across all of your YouTube videos and you know that your lighting setup hasn't changed, then using a lot can actually speed up your workflow. That are the situations that I do advise you to use LUTs. But in any other situation, such as doing a corporate videos or doing client jobs, I advise you to actually learn color grading. LUTs are the same in every single corner of your frame. But what goes with color grading manually is that you have full control over what's on the screen. So either you have bad skin tones, like too much yellow or too much pink, you can fix it with a qualifier. Either you have like too much blue in the shadows, you can all fix it using note structures, notes, and manual color grading, which you can do using LUTs. Therefore, I say that using LUTs should only be when you're in hurry and every other single time you should actually do manual color grading. If you do want to learn color grading, my suggestion is that you watch videos from Avery Peck and Vakas Khazi because those guys have amazing, amazing tutorials for beginners that are easy to follow and then you can just like, you will learn 
a lot from those videos. If you guys like this video, then make sure that you subscribe. My name is Nina and I'm on this channel alongside with David. On this channel we talk about filmmaking and digital art. If you're interested in anything connected to that, then you should definitely subscribe because this is all we talk about and if you're a filmmaker that it could be something interesting to you. You can turn the notification bell so you're notified when we upload a new video. And until next time and the next video, bye.